Okay, we are live on Facebook. Good morning, everybody. Let's start out with this. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Rich Honda, Jane, Purple Paisley, Planner, Amanda, Monica, Carol, Althea, Susan, Maria, Deborah, Peggy, Cynthia, Bonita, Lydia, Cindy, Mary, Charlotte, Kathy, Karen, Yvette, Wanda, Donna, Kat, Tammy, Melissa, Emma, Keisha, Shanna, Dee, Marie, Virginia, Vanessa, and the Sheila and Michael Show. Thanks, guys. And thank you. A big shout out to my co-sponsors. You guys are amazing. Okay. Good morning. Um, I took the chat out this time. We usually have the chat over here. So if you're watching the replay, there is chat and you can go to YouTube and click on the live chat. If you're on a computer, it's on that side, I think. And, or it could be below a little bit. If you're on an iPad or phone, it's click the live chat button. And you guys tell me, do you, would you rather have the chat in the video or just watching it outside? I know on Facebook is different. Facebook has the chat on there. I also see your questions on Facebook. So hey, on Facebook, uh, we do this every Saturday morning. We have live free design space class. I answer your questions live. Please put your questions in all caps. If you see me looking over to the side or you don't see me doing anything, it's because I'm reading your chat. There are so many good mornings. I am so glad this is a good morning for so many of you. Um, thank you, Bobby. And thank you, Jamie, and everybody who helps out and answers questions. So today it's called Infusible Ink in Design Space, but I'm going to show you some of the new images in Design Space and show you how you can maybe slice them to make them really cool that will work with the, in, did I say invisible? Infusible, if I said that wrong. Infusible ink. Um, but if you're not interested in the infusible ink because you don't do t-shirts or coasters or something, you can use these images with other things. You can use them with vinyl. It's not specific. You have to use that with these. Ronald, thank you so much. He says, I just wanted to remind everyone how important it is for us crafting artists to reuse and repurpose materials whenever we can. The coffee cans and cereal boxes. That's true. You can totally use cereal boxes and any Cricut can cut a cereal box. Um, I have made things out of cereal boxes. On the back of a project one time, I had Tony the Tiger's uh, face on it. It was the name tag I made for Mamie's first cruise. It was cute because I could turn it over and it was Tony the Tiger. Um, Ronald is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald. Uh, Ronald, my pin is on your way to your house. Uh, so those of you that don't know, I do have a special offer on my Patreon where you get the little pin. So that's my logo pin, but then you also get this pin. Isn't that cute? Okay. Uh, all right, let's get to design space. Thank you, Anita on Facebook. Okay, this is one image I thought was really cool. This does not have to be used with infusible ink. You can use this on any project, um, but it is drawing. So you, only a project you can draw on. So you really can't use this on a t-shirt, except with the infusible ink pens. So you can use the infusible ink pens on the Cricut Blink t-shirts, and you can get this. They also have this image in there too so you can put this in the background in any color you want or any design you want and then you can use the pens to draw this and iron that onto the shirt press it on the shirt they also they just added this because they didn't have they had these all attached um right now they're just grouped but they had them all attached when you hit go these were going to write on there and i 
questioned that. So they switched it and then they added the, whoops, hit it too many times. They added this so it will cut out around here. So if you want, you can have these cut and put on paper and put it on any project you want. You could rearrange these dancers and have them draw and then cut out around that. Actually, you could even um, turn off the drawing. You could just have that cut like that if you want to. I think it looks better with the drawing because the little lines match. So that looks better, I think. Thank you, Diana. That is so sweet of you for the super chat. Uh, oh, and I started doing in my videos a $15 giveaway or something about an average of $15. So today we're going to do a $15 uh, Amazon or PayPal, your choice. And to in order to enter, you do have to be on YouTube and in the chat and live. Okay, so let me, I wanted to show you, first let's go to the projects that are created already. So I'm going to go to home. Look at that shirt. These, that's the rainbow. You guys, the rainbow infusible ink is my favorite. So I'm going to scroll down. It says Inf infusible ink. What are those dancers from? Which cartridge? I will show you that. Uh, we're going to get to that, to where the stancers are from. They're on a t-shirt cartridge, actually. Uh, I think they are also have their own cartridge of just dancers who are drawing, so I'll show those, too. Um, world's Nerdiest Couple t-shirts. I can't really see what that says. World's Nerdiest Girlfriend, World's Nerdiest Boyfriend. Awesome. That's cute. So this is a project. You can hit customize. Tells you everything you need to do it, like all the Cricut projects do. Or you can just make it. Uh, Cousin Squad. I didn't look closely at all these. Oh, so they put their name. So they put Squad 19 and put their name. Now this arrow image is an image I saw. So I will show you today how you can slice out whatever you want there. You could put your name there or they made William Squad, like your last name and then Squad. So I will show you how to slice that out. It's really easy. If you know how to slice, you already know how to do it. Oh, and this one is so easy too. Look how pretty that is. This is with the infusible ink. Now you could do the same project with uh, HTV or iron-on or pattern iron-on. The only difference with the infusible ink is the infusible ink you cannot feel on your shirt. It You can't feel it at all. It just feels like a shirt. You don't feel any vinyl or iron-on on it. So that's the only difference. So I'm going to show you how you can make this yourself or you know you can put a different whatever you want in the middle. Uh, Eddie on Facebook, yes, you can use the infusible ink on any Cricut machine. It's not just for the maker. There's no reason to make it for the maker. But see how easy and simple this image is? You can, it's just a basic circle. I think they just use a circle and uh, sliced out the flamingo. You can slice out whatever you want out of it. And if you use pattern iron-on or this is made with infusible ink, because the infusible ink is amazing. I really am excited over the infusible ink. Um, it's a t-shirt, you can't feel it, never fades. So that's that one. We're not gonna go through all of them. This is just an image and I'm gonna show that. That's an image. Okay, these are just so cute, I can't, I have to show you. These are images in design space. This one says it was her. This one says it was him. How cute is that? And like I said, you could make these, if you don't have the infusible ink and you want to make it today, you can make that out of iron-on or pattern iron-on uh, or anything like that. 
See, this is InDesign Space free in access. So if you have, have access, all these images are free. Uh, Lori Clark, I do have a shareable file for those coasters I did. Um, I will share that with my Patreon supporters, but really, uh, they're just images in Design Space. I'll show. I'm going to show you those images. See, here's the bag of the dancers. Isn't that cute? And then they put her name on it. This is just so freaking cute, guys. Look at how cute it is. I love it. So you cannot do these dancers in iron-on. You could find iron-on silhouettes. I mean, the um, maybe dancer silhouettes you possibly could, but not the drawing of them, which is amazing. Okay, let's go. And then these coasters, they're just images in uh, Design Space, and I'll show you those. Here's a dog one. Can you have a close-up of the bag? I don't really have. If I can't bring my dog, I'm not going. And that's with infusible ink. And you press it all at one time. I'll be showing that closer in more videos. I love these. Well, I love the color. I did the thing t-shirt. I did the thing. That's what the t-shirt says. I did the thing. That is so pretty. Is that that? This is, I think, used with the rainbow infusible ink. Probably says that down here. Oh, mermaid rainbow. Oh, there's another rainbow. Oh my gosh, I don't have this one. This is mermaid. Oh no, I need this so bad. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm going to be up really late on June 15th because I'm waiting for this to become available at Michael's. I did the thing. You could totally use this with iron on or vinyl. A little coffee. They did this with infusible ink. Oh, this is so cool. It's a camera and it's drawn. See, you can't do these with iron on because it's drawn. See, they draw and then put some uh, stripes in there. And let me tell you, so like if you were using infusible ink with these three colors and they're from three different transfers, what you do is you cut them out and the infusible ink, let me show you real fast. Come look at me. The infusible ink, like this is um, what I did my coasters on. If you missed that, I'm going to have a tutorial on this and uh, these coasters I did. I did it in one press. Um, I, hopefully I'll have it by Tuesday. Uh, but I want to show you, this is the used piece I used. This, the infusible ink, is made out of five different materials. It's not just sublimation ink. Like some people think it's only sublimation ink. Does sublimation ink come like this? No. Uh, it's made of five different um, materials, chemicals and materials, five different mediums. Um, so you can pick this off. Sheila, welcome, Sheila. I thought you weren't going to be here at the Patreon meeting today because you're at a crop. Thank you, Tammy. So you can pick this off of the transfer sheet and press it where you want. Like if you wanted to put different pieces. So like that image. So like this image with those three stripes. I could pick those three stripes off and then pl place them together on one sheet. 
and then press them all down. So you don't, if you have different colors, you don't have to press that many different times. Hopefully that makes sense. I will be showing it in a video later on. Uh, let's go back to the design space. Thank you, Ronald. Coffee for Sheila. Okay. And this one just set up. Now this one is also done, I think, the same way. They did black infusible ink, and then they cut this part out of another one, and they probably placed, at least this is how I do it, um, this little moon piece onto the transfer with all the black and do it in one press. If you do too many presses on a shirt, it will lighten the other colors, so you don't want to do that as much as possible. Um, the prices for the infusible ink, I have been sharing that. Let me find, oh, I don't have a, let me see if I can put it in the chat. I don't know if I have a picture of it. Let me see. I have it in screenshots. All right, I can't find a picture right now, uh, but I have shared it, and let me see if I can put it in the chat on YouTube. Won't let me put it all. There's half of it. There you go, the other half. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Let's look at the other pictures. So there's a close up of it. And you can't feel it, it doesn't fade. So there it is in Design Space. And then now, if you don't have the invisible, infusible ink, uh, you could use pattern iron-on too. You could use iron-on. It would be iron-on and you could feel it. It's not as exciting. And then that's, I think this one has some writing. Yeah. This has that flower writing. So this is drawn, the flower is drawn with the pen and then put on uh, the ink. Here's some more geometric flower tote. That's really pretty. I Do I have this one? I might have one like this. And that's what it looks like in design space. This is a pretty one too. That looks like it was done with the rainbow. Yep, the rainbow sheet. So if you like these images, go in here. So this is what the image looks like. Well, it's like half of it. It's not the full image. Um, and if you like one of these colors, like say, where's that? Where'd the moon go? Right here. If you like the color of this and you want to make sure you get that color when you purchase it, uh, watercolor splash, and then of course they use black. So watercolor splash, that's really pretty. I gotta, uh, I'm gonna buy them all. That's so pretty. What's this one? Um, that's just with a solid color one. You could make it with any color. You could also do it with iron-on if you wanted. Chill, chill, chill. And this, I, let's see, I think it's drawing. Okay, I'm gonna customize this because I wanna see what it looks like. I don't know what the coatings are on anything. 
Largest size for t-shirt right now is 2X, but they will be coming out with different sizes and more blanks. Carol Dodge on Facebook has a great question I want to answer for everybody. Um, she is, if you have the smaller press, can you overlap pressing to cover the entire image? Carol, you will not get a true color when you do that. So these are drawn on here. So when you press over an image, say you have only the smallest one, and you move it so you can press more, it's almost impossible to get the color to be even. Now, if you were doing maybe different words where had one word here and one word here, you could possibly do those separately. If you were gonna do that, I would do different colors so you did not notice the color difference. Um, not all shirts can be used. They have researched for 18 months on what works best with this product. So that's why they came out, they decided they needed to come out with blanks that work the best with the product. Okay, now to get back to the other projects, we're going to go to home and home. <laughs> and scroll back down. We're almost done. Oh. I have to click view all. What's that one? Hello, Summer. That's so cute. Oh, drawn trice, uh, triceratops? Trice, triceratops. <laughs> I don't know my dinosaurs, guys. So uh, they have a lot of dinosaurs that are drawn images, and now you can put them on shirts because you can use the infusible ink pens. This, you guys, this is the image we did with the pens. I guess it wasn't my favorite image. I like scribbled all over mine, like not scribbled, but colored the corners because I wanted to see what the different colors look like and I was wanting to see what it looks like. That's just not my favorite image. It's okay. These are pretty. And I would ruin these by coloring them because you can color with infusible ink markers. Oh, and if you're asking about the first Easy Press, sorry, there's so many questions. Um, the first Easy Press works very well with it. Uh, Carol did a video with the first Easy Press and it looked great. It works best with the Easy Press too. But if you only have the first Easy Press, just use that. You don't have to buy a new one just because uh, you need the same size and you want to use this. Uh, I don't know. Let me see what the fabric of the totes are. Yes, the tote is 100% uh, polyester. I don't even think I showed you guys the tote that I did. This is the tote that we did at Cricket Headquarters. It's, it's really nice. You guys, these blanks are really soft. So that's the one I did. Love is in the air. I didn't have a choice of the image. And this color would have been prettier on white. Because remember, this is ink. It's not like vinyl. But it's a really nice bag. Uh, yes, I think every single Michael will have them. Um, 
Yeah, the, the dinosaur was on a t-shirt. And they are going to come out with more colors of blanks. But the different colors will turn out differently. They wanted to come start you out with white because this is ink. Think of it as if you have a uh, light blue piece of paper and you print on it and you use yellow and orange ink on it, it's going to come out different. Yellow ink on blue might be green. So that's something for you to know. And there's also new t-shirt um, images that I'm going to be showing you that are not really for infusible ink. They're for iron-on mostly, I think. But aren't these pretty? I would totally color them in. And these have been in Design Space, and I have seen them, and I thought, why are these in circles? I had no clue. Thank you, Ronald. So these are really pretty, and you can color them before you put them on. Oh, and here's some more. These are pretty. Looks like they colored them in. Let, let's look at this one. These are all in access also. Yes, Marlene, that is a great question. Uh, for these images, like this one also, I would color, you draw this on the paper and then you can take the markers and you color on the paper just like you would a coloring book. So you color it on paper. So that um, image we just looked at started out like this. And that wasn't this one, was it? No. So I'm going to go back to home, go back to the image. Is there an easier way for this? I forget. Okay, so it was this one. So you can see they colored it in. There's a little closer look. And they color it on the paper, and then you iron it all on at the same time. And then avocado and toast. These images have been in design space for a while. Here's a mandala. They colored. Isn't that pretty? So they had it draw it on paper, and then they colored And this one's pretty. And like you could put anything you want to say in there. And that's it for those. Uh, yeah, the uh, special of the day is um, uh, the Easy Press on, it'll be Monday night, Tuesday, is craft day. Welcome, 1,101. Yes. You could, Ronald is right, you could print out uh, the outlines and have the kids color them in. So you could have the Cricut draw and then you could color in stuff. Uh, they will not be at Hobby Lobby until after October. Michael's gets at first, they're not even at Cricut. Yes, I would suggest to get the large easy press because if you have a big design on a t-shirt, you only want to press it once. Otherwise, it won't be a nice even color. Where did I get the directions for the easy press? All the directions are here at the Cricut Easy Press Heat Transfer Guide. It's the same page as the heat settings always were for the easy press if you have the easy press one you click on this one then select your material 
infusible ink is right here and then you select your base material you select what you're putting it on and then it gives you directions okay let's go to images uh, you can let's go here you can search coasters or just coaster in images and there's so many okay you got a roller coaster first but thank you Judy Judy if you want to change the amount from 199 you have to slide the little slider uh, so this is a drawn image and then solid images so all of these are made to fit the coasters so all you have to do is insert them we'll just insert a few I think that one is so cool. Now, if you just want to look at round coasters, and you don't have to use these images just on coasters. Drinks on me. You don't wanna make this one a t-shirt and walk into a bar. That might not be the best idea. Drinks on me, bottoms up. Those are cute. Here's like the ones I did. Oh, I didn't see these. It's wine o'clock. Happy to be a crazy cat lady. Uh, the Easy Press 2 will be on midnight Eastern time. So it'll be 12 a.m. on June 11th. So it'll be the night of June 10th. Okay, so we're going to go to cartridges. Let's delete that. Okay, cartridges. And then we're going to search coaster. Welcome, Jennifer Walker. You can now use the emojis, and you get access to hundreds of my design space files. Yes, you can also make an image and slice it with a circle. So here's the coasters. Cheers to that coasters. I don't know if I've seen these. These, these are cute. Thank you, Judy. And Judy. Two Judys just gave me a super chat. You guys are amazing. I don't give a sip. That's cute. Now, like I said, you could put these on anything you want. Must have coffee. You could put this on a shirt if you want to. Boss man. That would be a cute shirt for someone for a Father's Day. There's always a reason to smile. That would be a great shirt too, or on a bag. So even though they say coasters, I'll bring them in. These are set, let's put my, to fit on the coasters that they have. But you can make this big and put it on a shirt. I like that. There is always a reason to smile. Thank you, Jeanette. Uh, let's go back to images. Okay. Hit cartridges. Uh, coasters, because we didn't finish looking at them. So then you can choose round coasters. There's many more in this. You have to click on it to open them up. But we just kind of looked at all the coasters, so I'm not going to open them all up and waste your time. Then we have sliced fruit coasters. Then we have square coasters, and uh, the square coasters are the ones. Thank you, Lori, for all your excitement. I cannot help my excitement. Oh, Kathy, that is a great idea. The coaster images would be a great size for a pocket. I like this little winky guy. That would be cute on a pocket, too.
Okay, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to show you these. So I made these. Make it happen. Oh, wait, that says Dare to Dream. My hands are backwards. <laughs> Be happy. Love this one. Be kind. Should always choose kind. Make it happen. Love these. These were all just images in design space. I did place them all together in a, oh, it's backwards. I never pulled these off until just today in this video. I lined them up so they were all even. So when I lined up the coasters, they were all just together like that on top of each other. And I aligned them so they were even. Go to design space. Whoops. There's my desk. Um, oh, t-shirts. Okay, you guys, they stopped sending us the list of new images. And I saw this image. Oh, Ronald, that's so sweet. He says we would rather watch Melody than any channel on TV. You're so sweet. Okay, I'm going to show you these animal t-shirt designs. Now, these geometric designs, I think were made with the infusible ink in mind. Like this is one of them that we saw in the project. Uh, but a lot of these you could use with, I think this one too, maybe had that in mind. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. Oh, and this t-shirt love also. So we're going to go back to these. But you guys, now this these are made for no, iron-on. And they're only one layer. When I first saw this, I thought, oh, these are printable, right? Does Don't these look like they're printable? I think they look like they're printable. Let's click on them. Look at how cute. There's no printer icon. I was really confused, guys. I'm like, where's the printer icon? These have to be printable, but they're not. I brought one in. Look at the kids. You guys, I got really excited over this. This has nothing to do with infusible ink, but I got excited. Look at these. Look at the pig. The pig is so cute. Free hugs. Oh, I never read that one. Oh, and the cats. Oh my gosh, he's drinking. This pig's eating pizza. Okay, we're going to bring the cats and the pig in. Okay, let's just get rid of these. Okay, look at all these layers, okay? Let's move the little piggy down. Now, you do not want this many layers of vinyl on a shirt. It would just be too bulky. That's not something you wanna do, so I assumed it was iron-on. But let's ungroup them and pull them apart. Okay, so first we have this. I wonder if we could turn that into draw and use it in infusible. Yeah, we could have our pens draw this and put it on a t-shirt and we could color these in with our pens. Okay, but then look at these. They're all separate. They're not on top of each other. So you only have one layer on your shirt is what I mean. So it's not thick. You only have one layer. So if you wanted to use these on a dark shirt, because the infusible ink does not work on uh, black shirts. You can't see it. So if you have a dark shirt you want to put this on. Isn't that cool? And then 
you make that black cut. Thank you, Lakeside. Isn't that cool? Look at Peggy. He's so cute. On group. We're going to pull him apart so you can see him. So isn't that is just so cool. You could just use this piece if you want. If you don't want your shirt to feel like it has much vinyl at all, you could do this. Oh, yes. If you wanted to print it, you could flatten it. And then you could do these. And these are all separate. You could, if you wanted to do all of these one color, if you didn't want the rainbow or you just don't have that much iron on. Oh, wait, it's selecting that too. I don't want to select this. Let's move that out of the way. Okay. We just want this one color. All we have to do is attach it. And then we can choose any color we want it to be by going up here and changing the color. So we could do that if you wanted to. Isn't that cute? Oh, uh, let's go in for some more. Let's look at more of the t-shirts. Oh, Ronald, you have so much fun. He says he's on the way to the UK for wine and cake. Are you really, or is somebody inviting you? And <laughs> you're... Thank you, Lakeside. Okay, let's go back to cartridges, t-shirts. And if you guys do not have Cricut Access, you really should. Okay, for one thing, you get 10% off everything. These, I love all these t-shirts. I think this was one made for. Aren't they pretty? This would be really pretty in one of those ombre colors of infusible ink. This would be cool too. I like that. Okay, now this one, this just looks like a big paint blob. You can slice out words in here if you want to, or an image. I could put that unicorn pig in here if I wanted to. Oh, a pocket! <gasps> What a great idea. I never saw that. You can use the infusible ink on a pocket and stick it on a shirt. And it's like you have a colored pocket. You guys, it's like you have a colored pocket. And it doesn't, like you don't feel it. It's the way the shirt's made. Oh my gosh. I just want to put a pocket on a shirt with no pocket. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do that. I want to do that. That would be so cool. Like to have a different colored pocket on your shirt. All right, we're all going to the UK for wine and cake. Ronald just invited us all. He says he's getting an Airbus. <laughs> and here's that other image that was so pretty in the projects. It was just this image, and it's just the pattern that you use. I love this. I love this because you can do so much inside this. You can slice anything out of this. And I'm going to show you this one. This is one I love, too. This one is from the first t-shirt we made. So I'm going to insert that one. Okay, then we're going to delete all these. We're going to delete all these. And we're going to get more t-shirts first. Thank you, Cindy. T-shirts. Get your t-shirts. The house that Lars built, can somebody tell me what that is? I don't know what the house that Lars built is. It doesn't have a ton of images in there. Kids shirts. Oh, 
That's so cute. I'm a big deal. <laughs> Look at that. Oh no, he's lost his head. Oh, a catfish. Look, it's a cat fish. Thank you, Stephanie. So cute. That is cute. <laughs> okay, let's go back to t-shirts. Sports and recreation. We're not going to look at every single one of them. Okay, t-shirt love. You guys can choose to look at these and if you don't even have access you can still look at them and you can purchase one image if you want to for 99 cents but these are so cool imagine the pattern on there donut yeah nope caffeinated good vibes only it looks like a record i train your trainer and here's where the ones were, it was her, it was him. Minosa Mornings, talented. The wolf here is where this image is. Oh, and we'll go to, I'll show you some drawn images too. Oh, and look at the lightning. These are cute. I love this one. They do this one in one of their videos on their um, Infusible Ink page. They ha And they have such cool... What they do is they cut out the dog and then they cut out the other pieces and place it on the transfer that the dog is on. So you can easily um, do it all in one press. On Facebook, Stephanie's asking, do you print up the draw on a specialty paper? You can use copy paper. They suggest laser copy paper because it's heat resistant uh cricket has the easy press on sale and amazon and it's going to be the today's special on hsn in a few days these are cool you could uh slice out a name i love that tree one man army. Here's the farmer's market. So the flowers are drawn. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's go to cartridges and search draw. So those are draw and cut. And, oh, that's it. Okay, I'm going to add, say, drawn. These are the zodiac signs. They made some coasters with these on them. They just sliced out the design in a circle. So we're going to go to drawn cartridges. Thank you, Jeanette. So, you guys, these are so cool. I have a great idea for this. Aren't they cool? They are drawn, and then these are solid pieces. I will be doing a video with, I think, a couple of these plants. So these are drawn, and then these are solid. So I will be doing a couple of these plants. I'm so excited about it, too. Let's go back to cartridges. And draw. Oh, remember, for those of you who support on Patreon, uh, we are having a hangout after this video today. So I need to be on time. <laughs> Look at the geometric designs. Here's drawn plants. You can have your pen write these. You can color them in on the paper and then press them to a shirt. I love this palm tree. This is the palm tree I used in some of my cards. But that would be really cool on a shirt also. 
And this is the butterfly I used on this coaster. If you missed that. I did this coaster and then I did it again yesterday. I added another layer to the coaster. So there's the butterfly and then I added the leaves yesterday because I wanted to see how it does with layering. And that's how it does. It does pretty well. Okay. Yes, Huntress, I saw you release some videos. I, ha I haven't been able to watch them yet. Uh, all right, let's go back to design space. Okay, let me show you how to, you can put any word you want in here. What do we want to put in here? Uh, I know what to put in here. This is for Ronald. Does that seem to have an E at the end? It does, doesn't it? Okay, uh, these, this is on draw. I don't want it on draw. I want regular. And let's do a different font. You know, it's going to take me forever. How about this one? Can I make it a little smaller? Let's change the color. Well, let's change the color of this. Um, Okay, let's, uh, we're going to go to advanced. Oh, yeah, I just want to ungroup it. I can go to ungroup. So what I'm going to do is group the separate words. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I have nothing in my head of how I'm doing this. So we're just going to have to see how it comes out. There, maybe that. So now I want to slice that through. If I select it all, I can't slice it because look, it thinks these are all separate. The slice button is not working. You can only slice one word at a time. Well, this seems like it's one, but it's not because it's grouped. So I'm going to weld that. Actually, I could just select them all and weld them together. So I'm welding now these are set as one word. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald. And then I'm going to select it all, and now I can slice. And then you pull it away. You have to always pull two away. Uh, so then there it is. You could do this out of iron-on, pattern iron-on, uh, Vinyl, you can do it out of paper, but then you'd have to put back these little pieces in the middle of the letters. Isn't that cool? Who thinks it's time for a giveaway? All right, let's see if this thing is working. It is working. 
So we have a winner. Now, how I do this every Saturday is you have to chat. Like I said in the beginning, chat on face on YouTube only. And uh, <laughs> I have robot Nightbot who chooses a winner. I do not choose the winner. So the winner today is Lynn Bledsoe. Hold on. Oh, where'd it go? It's not. Hold on. Uh-oh. Here we go. There she is. Lynn Bledsoe. Congratulations. So you need to email me at melodylanedesigns at gmail.com. All right, guys, I think I'm going to let you go. Remember, uh, we do this every Saturday, 11 a.m. I don't have anything planned for next week. You can always let me know what you're interested in, what you need to learn. I have over 90 videos. Some of them are just for beginners that start out for beginners of where to start. You can always rewatch them. If you are signed in and subscribed on YouTube, YouTube knows where you left off. Okay, so why my hair is sticking up? There, I'll just stick it all up. YouTube knows where you left off. So subscribe, click the little bell so you know every time I post a video because I have some videos coming up. The videos with these coasters is gonna be out and when it does get out, you only have 48 hours to enter to win one of the three of these. There'll be three winners who will win one of these coasters. So there'll be four of us in the world that have a matching set. Okay. All right. I want to thank you. I have to get ready for my Patreon hangout. Uh, thank you, Ronald. You have been amazing. Melody land. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. And everyone gets free tickets to Melody land. <laughs> Ronald, you're too much. All right. Thank you, everybody. We will see you next week. And some of you I'll see in just a half hour. Bye.